Hello and welcome back to Fashion with Sort Out YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we are learning how to make a bridal veil. And this veil come in different lengths. We have some the cathedral lengths, just like the one you are seeing on the screen. We have them in various shapes. So you see this shape. And then we have the waist lengths. We have the bra lengths. And then we have some the floor length and some the um like three quarter but today we are considering the one that reach the bomb i mean the bomb bomb length so this is basically how to go about it area right here i have a two yard of two net and then remember that two net comes in 60 um length 60 inches length so what i'm going to do is fold my net into two and then fold it into four just like we fold a pep we have a peplum fold but the difference is just the cut the cut is not like peplum cut at all so what i will do now is after the close the net rather has been folded into four i'll then pick my tape and put it at the edge of the fold just like we do to our peplum i kept measuring peplum so that by the time you want to cut your own you won't forget so i will start at that edge and then mark it so as i'm traveling down i'm increasing the length initially i had 25 inches as my length so as i'm in, as i'm going down like as i'm going downward on the net i'm increasing the length i hope you can see it so that this is to show that unlike peplum that will have equal markings at the end no for these as you are going you are increasing the length as you are going you are increasing the length you don't have it equal you don't necessarily need to have it equal so like i'm increasing it as you can see so i'm just marking it and then increasing it till it gets to the edge of the m on the other side here you can see it so after this has been done i feel okay so i feel i should increase that side since it can accommodate it so after all these markings has been done the next thing we have to do is pick up our scissors and then make a cut of all the markings just as you see me do so right now we have the whole we have it cut out just as you can see and the next thing i'm going to do now is go to weave the edges so we are weaving the edges you just weave it round, and after I'm, I'm done with that i'll come back to show you what's next to do okay so right now guys i have my two net weave weaved round just as you can see another thing we need for our v is comb we also need a plaque and so these comb are different they are, in, they are different but we are making use of this plastic comb what i will do now is pick a side of the net you see the way i i picked it do you see so it it, it won't be equal so the place i picked is the side that will cover the front as you can see it so by the time the comb is inside and it's placed on the hand that side that comes to the front will definitely come to the front as it is so what we will we'll do now is pick the comb and that side i'm holding you flip it open and that is where we are going to fix our comb you see the way i'm holding the comb that is the way it will be fixed so i will fix it that way so if you picture it well the way it's placed it will be easy for you to enter the air like that so right now i'm going to place my uhu gum on it i'm going to place my uhu gum and then blow air <laughs> on it so that at least it will be dry by the time it's dry it sticks faster to materials it sticks even if it's not neat it sticks faster like that to materials than you putting the gum and then placing what you want to fix on it directly with that it can be messy so if you do it this way the way i did it it will be neat you'll get a neat outcome can you see the way it is just picture you putting it in your ear 
you know it will enter well so by the time you put it on your head it enters your hair you can you can fold that side back to the front and it will cover the front so now that we have fixed our comb i'm just allowing it to to dry a bit so that it won't remove you can see the way i'm pressing it down so that it won't be removed now that the comb has been fixed the next thing we are going to do is fix our applique on on it so i have this silver applique i'm just going to start picking it one after the other and then gum it randomly on the veil just as you can see me just as you see me do and in applying the h you i must also caution you that you just apply little if it's much it will be messy so what you have to do is just put a little a pinch of the uhu gum on it and then start placing it randomly on the net so i'm just going to continue to place the um applique the applique round 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 on the on the veil net until i have it full as i desired it guys i'm sure you are noticing the changes already you see how it's becoming more beautiful and more beautiful so i'll just check around for those space that is um scanty there and then i'll fix so guys this is basically how to the simplest way to get a brighter net done so depending on the length you want the the longer you want it the more um volume of net you will do you will need can you see how wavy it is can you see how beautiful it is you see where our comb is all you just have to do is fix it to your hair and then flip it to the front and that is all that it takes for a bridal veil it's beautiful right guys i want to appreciate you for staying true to the end of this video if you are here to subscribe to this channel don't hesitate to subscribe like and share our video we have come to the end of this video thank you everyone see you in my next tutorial bye